What's up everyone? Tom here. So I'm getting ready for a Colorado trip and uh, as part of this trip I'm looking forward to playing radio. Right, so I got my um, ham uh, amateur radio license a couple months ago and my general license a couple of weeks ago. So since then I've been on the high frequency bands uh, reaching all over the United States, parts of Canada and even some parts of Europe. So to continue that hobby in the outdoors, I've built a 20 meter ham stick dipole on a PVC mast that I'm going to take with me and uh, see if I can't make some contacts from Colorado. So today, I'm just put it together, put it up as a test, and I'll see what I can hear. The antenna is made up of uh, two ham sticks. You can buy them each. I bought mine from DX Engineering. I'll leave the link to uh, all the parts I use in the description below. So I've got two 20 meter ham sticks and uh, two 40 meter ham sticks that I have yet to unpackage and tune yet. And this is the magic piece. This is the uh, ham stick dipole adapter. And as you can see, it's built basically just to clamp on to a regular mast. Um, mine, I put a 90 degree coax connector so the uh, cord can just dangle down. And you've got this piece connected as the to the center conductor of the coax, grounded, and then the shield side will come out through here and basically form your dipole out of two ham sticks. The ham sticks themselves are very straightforward. Uh, they come in two four foot sections, uh, one being the wound coil and then the other one being the whip that you screw into the end of the um, coil piece of the ham stick. And to tune them, you basically, it's, it's, it's easiest, I do it with the antenna analyzer. Uh, if your radio is equipped with an SWR meter, you can probably do the same thing. You simply loosen up the two uh, lock nuts and you move it in and out. Now, mine was actually a little too long, uh, so if you uh, need to tune it towards the upper end of the band that you're interested in. These are likely to extend pretty deep into the coil. The instructions say do not let that happen otherwise you risk damaging the antenna and voiding the warranty. So after I got it about where I wanted to I took a hacksaw and actually cut this a little short. So all said and done these end up packing up uh, nice and neat. I just have them uh, rubber banded and I've put them into a separate piece of PVC. The antenna plus the dipole adapter uh, and my PVC uh, mast just wrap up. You can see it's a little bit over four feet in length <clears throat> and together all this together puts it at about 15 feet high. So I've got the analyzer connected to my 20 meter hamstick dipole and as you can see it's currently resonant towards the uh, upper middle more towards the upper portion of the 20 meter phone band which uh, I think is going to be good enough for me I might extend the whips just a little bit uh, I've got 1.6 at 14.35 down through 14 about 275 ish so yeah if I extend the whips a little bit longer That'll put me right where I want to be for my mobile travels. But since I'm only a general, if I look at 14.225, I'm at 1.8 through 14.35. Takes me down to the loop to 1.6. Not too bad. Victor, Echo 1, Bravo, Bravo in Nova Scotia. Calling CQ, CQ. Victor, Echo 1, Bravo, Bravo. Kilowatt, Delta, 9. Papa, X-Ray, Foxtrot. Kilo Delta 9, Papa, X-Ray, Fox. Kilo Delta 9, Papa, X-Ray, Fox. A 5858, five, Nova Scotia, QSL. QSL, roger that. 59 plus 10 in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, roger, the name here is Murray, Mike, Uniform, Romeo, Romeo, Alpha, Yankee. And the QTH is Stillwater Lake in Nova Scotia a part of the greater municipality of Halifax. A nice signal into Nova Scotia today, over. Roger that, thank you for the contact, thanks for taking my call. Handle here is Tom Tango Oscar Mike, just north of Chicago, Illinois. And you're my first contact on a um, hamstick dipole that I just put together for an upcoming road trip, QSL. Uh, well, I was doing a great job for you, Tom. You should have no problem making lots of contacts. Best wishes to you, my friend, just have a few minutes I thought I'd try to see who's on the band. I uh, wish you well with the new antenna and all the best from Nova Scotia. Good luck. Roger that. 73. Thank you. Uh, QRZ, QRZ, Victor. 
Well, as you can see, it worked. Uh, I called CQ once, didn't get any answers, so I listened around the band, uh, 20 meter band, and uh, heard Murray up in Nova Scotia calling CQ. After a couple of attempts, uh, attempts, I came through. He gave me a good strong signal report, as you saw. So I'm gonna call that a win. Hamstick dipole success. Looking forward to packing it up, taking it with me to Colorado. If all goes well, I'll make another video or two and uh, demonstrate how it works. Uh, so if you're interested, leave a comment below. If you've got any questions about the build, feel free to ask. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good one.